And Global Affairs Analyst Calvin Dack joins me now via Skype from Washington, D.C. to share his thoughts on the impeachment trial. Uh, many thanks to you, Calvin Dack, for joining us on this hour. Let's start with um, an update on what is going on now at the Senate. Um, the, the president now is been, is been, the trial is going on at the Senate, but there's one thing that is sure. The issue around witnesses, um, the Republicans are not willing to call in more witnesses. What, what do you make of that? Well, I think that the, the Republicans not wanting to call witnesses is probably going to be what takes away the most part of their credibility. Because here's the thing. Even though there are a handful of witnesses that either side would like to call if there were witnesses, the main witness that the Democrats have asked for is for former National Security Advisor John Bolton to testify. Now, the problem with the Republicans is they're fighting for him to testify. He was one of President Trump's people. This isn't like this is a Democratic opponent of the president testifying. Now, we do know that they left on bad terms, as President Trump said, I think, in a press conference yesterday in Switzerland. But just imagine that. They are stopping the president's own hand-picked people from testifying to what they know. All right, let's talk about, um, talking about um, witnesses, Lev Panas, who happens to be a very close ally of Rudy Giuliani and also a defense lawyer, has been saying uh, so far in his interview with Richard Madu, he says that Trump is aware, President Trump is aware of that call to the Ukrainian president. He, he, like he's aware of the fact that, look, they were trying to pressure Ukraine to get um, death on Joe Biden. Um, do you think that his account should be taken seriously should he be called in as a witness i think his account should be taken seriously for one reason obviously because he's indicted and it is in his interest to do whatever he can to lighten that sentence everyone understands that but the thing with lev parnas is he's produced documents and let's keep in mind that some of the correspondence and documents that he may not have the president's current personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, has them. So while his testimony on its own wouldn't be credible, if he's got documents to back that up, that adds credibility to what he's trying to say. All right, so let's also look at the articles of impeachment, um, which is a huge debate here. Uh, many Republicans and analysts believe that the articles of impeachment do not begin to approach um, the standards set by the Constitution. Now, the articles of impeachment are that of um, abuse of office and obstruction of Congress. They say it's too vague. I also want to get your implication of, uh, on that. Well, I think that it's, uh, it's a legal political argument that happens every time um, there is even an idea of impeachment brought up. Let's keep in mind that the crime um, with Bill Clinton 20 years ago, his impeachment was perjury over an extra marital affair. Now, you had a lot of people at that time saying that that wasn't treason, bribery, or high crimes and misdemeanors. But you also have people on the president's team, one of his attorneys was on the um, interview shows this weekend, saying that even if there is abuse of power, that because that's not a crime, he couldn't be impeached. The reality is, where I think most experts fall, is that high crimes and misdemeanors is exactly what the House of Representatives votes and says that it is. And in this case, a majority of the House voted that way, and that is what, that, that's where the articles come from. Now, there are going to be plenty of arguments over whether that's just, but the reality is the House of Representatives decides that. All right. Uh, many also think that, well, the Democrats ha have, from the very first day of the president in office, um, say he's going to be impeached. They think that, look, this is more of a witch hunt than it is um, the battle to save democracy in America. I also want to get your thoughts on that. Well, yes, you're having a lot of people say that. But here is what I want to remind people, that both things can be true. You can have political opponents that have wanted to impeach him since the day he was elected. That's certainly true. We even know who they are. But what's also true is those opponents didn't make up that perfect phone call with the Ukraine, Ukrainian president. They also didn't hide documents. They also didn't lie about um, what he was asking of the Ukrainian president in exchange for the aid. So is it true that there are opponents of the president that have wanted to see him impeached from day one? Yes. Did the president do things that rise to the level of at least being investigated for impeachment? That is also true. All right, we're going to see uh, more uh, 
conversations at the Senate in the coming days and we'll definitely stay in touch with you for that. Global Affairs Analyst Calvin Dack, many thanks for your time.